My friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Ashton, the owner of Ashton Stitches, and today I'm going to be showing you finally how to make this granny square style top. I know it's been long awaited, you've asked over and over again, and it's taken me quite a long time, but it's finally here. I'm super excited to share it with you, and I hope that you love it. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, these are the materials that you're going to be needing. You're going to be needing some yarn. I use the sugar and cream weight four yarn, but you can use any weight four. But this one specifically is in the color jute and it is two and a half ounces. It's the small version. Um, this is all that I need to make the whole top. but Keep that in mind, I'm a smaller bust, so that's why. You will also need a 5mm hook. You also need some scissors, a yarn needle, and a tape measure. And let's go ahead and get started with this. So we're going to start off by making the cups, and you're going to need to make a slip knot. I will be going through this cup uh, a little bit quick, but if you need some extra help, you need it a little bit slower, go ahead and click the little card in the corner here, and that'll take you to my crochet cup tutorial. But you'll make a slip knot, and then you're going to chain 12. Once you've made your 12 chains, you're going to single crochet into the third chain from the hook. And once you do that, go ahead and place one single crochet in each stitch until the end. And now you should have something that looks like this. Next you're going to chain one and turn your work, and this chain one does not count as your first stitch. Then you're going to place one single crochet into the very first stitch. Once you've done that, you're going to place one single crochet into the next nine stitches. Once you've placed 11 single crochets, you should see that you have your chain 3 from your previous row. You're currently in the first stitch of that, and there's a middle stitch. Place 3 single crochets into that middle stitch. Once you have the 3 single crochets in that, go ahead and place 1 single crochet into each stitch until the end, and you will have 11 after your three single crochets in the middle. Once you do that, your piece should look a little bit like this, and then you're just going to continue that same thing, where you're going to chain one and turn, single crochet one, into each stitch until the middle, place three single crochets into the middle stitch, and then one single crochet in each stitch until the end, over and over until you get your desired size. I did eight more rows for a size medium, but go ahead and do it until it fits for you. And make two cups, of course, but do not fasten off after the second one. Now we're going to work along the bottom of these cups and we're going to connect them together. I also have a video that goes more in depth on how to connect your cups, um, if you want to check that out in the card in the top there. Um, but for this, you're going to chain one and you're just going to place one single crochet into each kind of stitch uh, until the end. 
there there aren't any actual stitches but um just kind of put them in there evenly i tried to make sure that both cups have the same amount of stitches um so that it just stays pretty even but go ahead and place one single crochet into each little stitch until the end and i will show you how to connect your cups together if um, you just want something quick but i will go ahead and show that to you Once you get to the end, you'll see that it starts to look nice and clean along the edge. Does um, just one single crochet in each stitch. And in order to connect your cups, you're going to chain three and then grab your other cup. And basically just to connect it, you're going to insert your hook into that very first stitch of your second cup and just place a single crochet. And now your cups are connected and you can go ahead and place one single crochet into each stitch until the end of the second cup. And now your top should look something like this. This is actually the back side of mine. I'll flip it over and show you what it actually looks like on the front. But it should look nice and clean along the bottom. And now we get to work on the actual granny square style for the bottom of this top. The first thing that you're going to do is chain four. This does count as your first double crochet and a chain two. Now go ahead and flip over your work. And you're going to skip two stitches and place a double crochet into the third stitch. Once you do that, go ahead and place two more double crochets into that same stitch for a total of three double crochets in that same stitch. It should look like this for your very first cluster stitch. And now you will chain one and do the same thing. You're going to skip two stitches You'll skip those two stitches and then place three double crochets into that third stitch. So now you can see it's starting to come together. And you'll just be repeating that little pattern along the bottom of your cups. And that is chaining one, skipping two stitches, and placing three double crochets into that third stitch. And continue that all the way to the end. And if you're unsure how to do this little pattern piece into the chain three that connects your cups together, I will go ahead and show you that in a minute. I actually forgot to mention that you should do this pattern all the way until there are three stitches left at the end. So continue the same pattern until the third to the last stitch. But now I will go ahead and show you how to do this little pattern in the chain three that connects your cups together. It's basically the same thing. You use those three stitches as actual stitches. So you're going to go ahead and chain one skip two stitches and place three double crochets into the third stitch 
And actually when I was recording this, I had my count a little bit off. One of my cups had one extra stitch. So you'll see like near the end that the bottom is a little different than what it looks right now. That's because I had to go and fix it. But the same thing goes, you just treat those three stitches in the middle like actual stitches and actually crochet into them. And it can be kind of tough, especially like if you crochet tight like I do, you might have to like wiggle your hook in there. But once you get it, place those three double crochets into the third stitch and continue on until you have three stitches left on your other cup. So now you've done all the little cluster stitches along the bottom and you have three stitches left. This is where we're going to kind of replicate the other side. You will be chaining two. So now you're just going to place one double crochet into the very last stitch. So this is like doing the cl that little cluster stitch, but like half of it. You're going to do that chain two, skip two stitches, and then place one double crochet into the last stitch. And now the bottom of this looks fantastic. You've done all the cluster stitches. It's looking great. But let's clean it up just a little bit more by placing slip stitches all along the bottom. So you'll just chain one, turn your work like usual, and place one slip stitch into each stitch. That includes the little chain ones that we have, the chain two that you just did right now. You're going to be slip stitching into those as well. Just one slip stitch into each stitch until the very end. You can see here that I crochet very tightly sometimes and it's a little hard for me to get my slip stitches in there, but it works out in the end. But go ahead, one si slip stitch, not single crochet, slip stitch into each stitch until the end. Since you do have that starting chain four at the very end, I will also show you how to slip stitch into that for it to work out. So now you've done all your slip stitches. You have that little chain four from the very, very beginning um, of these cluster stitches, and you're just gonna place one slip stitch into two chains, if that makes sense. So you're gonna go into one chain and then two chains. So half of that chain four um, from the cluster stitch um, pattern and place one slip stitch in each one. And once you do that, your cups and the bottom of that is, is totally done. All we have to add are the straps and obviously we in our ends, but um, you can go ahead and pat yourself on the back for this one. It's it's very fun to do and it looks great. But let's go ahead and let's do the straps. So starting off from right where you left off, go ahead and make a chain that you think will be long enough or that you would like to make long enough. I chained 95. I always do a little bit more than I really need but I would, I would much rather have too many chains than not enough. So that's what I did. I changed 95 and I'm going to show you right now how I like to finish off my chain, my straps, my chain straps. <laughs> um, I just chain an extra three and then I trim a little bit of a tail and then I'm basically just going to knot it to where um, some of those chains get caught in the knot and it makes like a really nice finished edge.
and I always make sure to double knot it. Um, you never know, it could come undone yeah, when you don't even expect it. But I also make sure on the on the second knot to make it like really, really tight. Sometimes when I, I tighten it, the yarn will break and that works out. Just make sure that it's really tight. And now you have one strap for your body portion finished and you're going to do the exact same thing for the other cup. You're just going to be attaching your yarn and then chaining the same amount that you chained before. How I attach my yarn is I just insert my hook into the stitch I want to go into place the yarn over and then I just pull it through, make a double knot. You don't have to make a double knot. You could actually just start chaining from right there, but I just like to double knot it to make sure that it's actually secure. Then you'll just insert your hook into that, that stitch and chain the same amount. Like I said, I chained 95. It's always better to have more than not enough. So chain as many as you need or as many as you like. So now you have both of your side straps completely done. Um, we're so close to being finished, but we have to add the neck straps, of course. So remember that little three single crochets and one stitch that we would do on our cups? We're going to be placing our straps in that very middle stitch. And I will be attaching my yarn the same way that I attached it on the side. I'm just going to insert my hook into that stitch, place the yarn over it, pull it through, double knot it, and then I just start chaining. Um, I made my neck straps about 75 chains long. You can make them as long or as short as you want. Um, this is so you can make it like a halter top. If you wanted to get, I guess, a little bit creative, you could um, make, you know, make the neck straps longer and attach them to the back straps so it can be like on your shoulders instead of around your neck. Um, but I just like it as a simple halter top. So I did 75 chains. Knot them at the end the same way that I did before, and that's it for the neck straps. Oh, don't forget to do the second one. It's the same way. Just look for that that's those three single crochets and just place your hook and your yarn into that middle stitch. And it's basically done. Make sure that you just go in, weave in your ends and that's it. You've made this beautiful granny square style top. I've actually decided to name this the Hebe top. Hebe was actually the goddess of use. Um, in Greek mythology, so that's what I call it. I think it's really funny to name something after the goddess of youth when it's a granny square style um, But that's just me, but it's done. You've done it. It looks fantastic I really hope that you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions any comments any concerns definitely leave a comment down below Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it um, and if you feel like it, you can subscribe to me. I promise I will have new videos coming out soon, but I will see you next time.